from Ream. Uh, pretty difficult to do, but let's start with the stand. You want to put all water heaters on an 18 inch pedestal. That's to keep, uh, if somebody were to bring a gas can in here for like their lawnmower and those vapors were to atomize and get out, that way this lower heating element can't become an ignition source and cause a fire. So that's why it has to be on this stand here. Um, you know, next thing is you got to have it, you're supposed to have it in this little pan. That way if it were to have a leak, you could drain it and get it out. Because you're not going to be able to pick this thing up when it's full of water. Um, empty. This water heater weighs about 230 pounds. So, and there's there's no handles or anything to grab it. Like just underneath, you're not gonna just take your hand, just, you know, deadlift this thing up. It's not happening. Um, it took three pretty strong guys to put, put this thing up here. And you have to have enough finesse to set it in this pan without just destroying this pan too. So. You know, be prepared to have three three dudes uh, pick this up. And if you're by yourself, whatever, you might want to just get a chain hoist and put it to the, the joist above the ceiling and, and hoist it up like that. It's, it's pretty difficult to move this thing, even when it's empty. Um, the installation was pretty tough. The... So notice that's that's the cold water inlet right here. So that has to line up. Coming up over here to maybe your expansion tank or maybe or to the uh, the valve for the cold water inlet from the wall. Now you also got to worry about I have this pre pleat filter here just to keep any dust out of the out of the heat pump so you gotta worry about this filter because you have to be able to clean and check this filter which you should clean probably I don't know, every couple months and so you gotta really be conscious of that and at the same time you gotta have you gotta be able to see the display and the evaporator outlet has to have flow. You couldn't put it against the wall any more than what I've got here. So that's all I could get away with. And then you've got to have the hot water outlet come up and then into the house, right? So there's a lot of things to consider when, when you plumb this up and all your tubing. Uh, and then of course your condensate line. That's something extra that you wouldn't have on a normal water heater. So I just have that with some clear tubing. That way I can see if it's getting clogged and that's just going to go into an old where I used to have a um, water softener so the only problem I had from the factory was the TMP valve was defective from the factory it had a pretty substantial leak like you could not close this at all so yeah, um, they weren't that helpful. I mean, it all worked out, but I called them. They got a plumber to come out the next day, but this, I mean, that took a lot of, of complaining to get them to do this. I mean, they were just trying to mail me the part, mail me a new TNP valve, and they told me to replace it myself. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculous. I'm not gonna do that. I mean, what if you get in here and start turning something on the old one and it snaps something in here? You know, then you're left with that, and they're going to say it was your fault. So, and to get them to send the plumber was, I mean, it took a lot of complaining, and it wasn't fun. And then the plumber, when he got here, he's like, hey, do you have the part? And I was like, no. He's like, well, Reem said you have the part. I was like, I just called him yesterday. Like, there's no way they can mail me a part that fast, you know. And he, luckily, he was cool. He was like, he just put one on for me. And uh, But when the part came in... I had to go give him the part. So I had to drive all the way across town and give him the part because I promised him I would. So 
That was pretty lame. So Reem, you know, QC these TP values, TMP values a little better. That would have been nice. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's been installed for oh, almost four months now. And it works great. Water's super hot. I just have it set to 120. I just keep it on energy saver. And yeah, but that's my experience. It took all day to install. So, you know, give yourself a full day and make sure you have all the parts and always over buy, over buy your plumbing parts. Cause you can always go return when the job's done, but you don't want to stop in the middle of the job because you forgot one small fitting or whatever it is. So just buy the whole store out and then return what you don't need the next day. So, but yeah, that's my experience with the Ream water heater. Bye.